There we go. Hello guys, my name is Kalsik, and today I'm gonna do uh, something I want to do more because it's really fun. And it's a Reaper re review of for hopefully your games, And uh, but this is my game because I just were in a losing streak and I got into this game and I was just kicking ass and carrying my team. So let's just begin. This begins like a normal game. Uh, their team is pretty annoying. Uh, Cannon is really good against Kalsik with his ult. Hecarim is top tier and can easily outgank you, but you, you, you farm faster than him. So you, that's why you can, how you can win over him. Annie, pretty annoying. Uh, hard to jump in because there's Tiber takes away isolation. Caitlyn, just top tier, wins every lane. So annoying. And Morgana, you get by her snare and everything. So yes, just begin. I do the... Oh, why does it... I just need to lock on this. So, I do the normal clear. I started with... Um, I started with the um, Hunter's Talisman so I could clear everything pretty effectively because I know Yasuo pushes in, top is gonna be hard gank, early game at least, and uh, I don't want to invade a Hecarim when, when I have no idea where it starts because it often starts blue or red. So I go for a full start, wait for everything, gets, uh, gets every camp on this side, and you will actually get level 4 from uh, red if you do this. You, Sometimes you actually don't need to go to uh, Krugs. Just need to take down the sun. Here I decide to. Uh, I'm looking around for ganks. I move mid because Yasu just kill, got killed because it's fucking Yasu, they suck. And I just claim the gold. This is pretty good. You need to. That's like one camp I got there from just going there. Pretty worth. And I got HP and didn't lose anything. Then I go for uh, this camp. Clear the small one so the W can take both. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. So this game was, I think, extremely hard to win. I, you will see later, because I get such a huge lead, so I just, I, this is a carry game for 100%. Here I go for a kill. Pretty lucky, but he was pretty stupid, and I didn't, and I didn't get why Lulu didn't follow me. She didn't believe I could kill him. So often here, when you get a kill like this, you always push in, because... If uh, you need to force the TP from Cannon so he, it's more safe. And here I just know that Hecarim is maybe still in his jungle, so I'm popping this, looking everywhere. And I see that this is up, and I can easily take this because, as you can see, I have Smite up, so it's pretty safe, and I can just jump away. And there, there's a plant right there, so I'm pretty safe taking this, and it's extremely good, as I said earlier, to try to steal stuff. So let's try to sp speed this game up. So, uh, yeah, I got uh, as... Here I, I had enough for getting a teammat. So this is extremely good. I got le level 6 like 5 minutes in the game. Trying to do a gank mid. Extremely hard, of course. Move into his jungle because I saw Hecarim top. So it's just free. Just invading. Every time I see him on the map, I invade. Trying to do another gank here. And Yasuo is like... He's... He's, he was first time Yasuo in, in my rank game, so I, I wasn't happy. You can see, this game doesn't start that well. Uh, I haven't really done anything early game because I didn't see any opportunities. Top was a good gank, but it could be better. Bot is pretty hard gankable with Caitlyn and Morgana pretty locked down. I'm just farming up right now. Seeing Bot getting dived, and that's so tilting. I try to get it, but I, I survive here. And I move out from the jungle. As you can know, this doesn't really seem like a game where I can get super fed and hard carry, but I get super fed from farming this game. And that's one thing you can know, because farming this, like, the jungle gives more gold, but it spawns less. So invading gives you so much. And this game is one of those games I just invades and farm like a god, to be honest. So after ganking that, I just go for uh, full clear, because. It's no point going B because I can get HP and like I don't even have gold enough for getting anything. So as you see here, I was kiting the jungle monster. You can always think that the scholar crab is like a healing station for you. But you also got to kill top lane, and I'm just healing here. And here, I go for a risky blue steel. That's why I move myself right over to this edge. So if I see him come, I can just run away. But now I'm at level 8 and I know that I have ult and it's pretty safe. And I saw him bot lane. That's why I went for it too. 
move top to get the tower with Yasuo. Pretty standard stuff. Like, this, the second I saw the Tekos uh, bot, I knew it's free to take top tower and it's free to take Grump and everything is mine. And this is easily the turning point where I become super strong. Just, and here we get a kill on this cannon because he was behind. So we just dive him, get him. Right now I'm 2 0, got 51 farm. And yeah, I go B and I purchase the jungle item, I think. Or no, I go for a. I just watched it, I didn't have enough. So then you can just go farm. Because right now with Evolving Q, that's why you always evolve the Q. You get the far fastest farming speed ever. So yeah, I just go farm. I see, ah, I can take every camp here and I won't even. Because I have blue, so it just. It goes really fast, you can see. Uh, do a full clear so I can get the most efficient so the, the buffs can respawn and I can go and do any other thing. This Yasuo is doing work but he's, he's gonna be so hard to carry when he gets a late game and he can't do anything. Here I see an opportunity to gank bot lane because they're going aggressive. But first I need to heal up because it's too dangerous to go there with half HP. But now it's a free kill. No, she was dead. But that was Varus lucky. She should give it to me because it was... Pretty low risk that he would get die. Here I see that uh, this is something many people do. You see the lane here? It's it's freezing over right here. Right here is gonna freeze. Like this mini wave is gonna slowly push in and get to tower. So when Kate gets back to lane, everything is gonna be hers and to take. So if I just push this lane in, it's gonna hit tower faster and the the mini is gonna get killed so it, it, she doesn't get the XP. Now uh, uh, Lulu just runs away. I don't even know what happened here. Yeah, she has kites them and yeah, that was happened. So right now, I just acquired uh, jungle item. I took blue this game because cannon is squishy, easy kill. Yeah, it's blue is pretty obvious this game because Caitlyn really good against Caitlyn, so you can smite her, catch up to her. Any would red smite probably be better on heck and hackering, but this they are not my goals because killing them are my goals. And I'm I'm level ten right now. Hecarim is level eight, and he has been ganking. He's four zero, and I got. Too. And like, here you can see, he's ganking, but I'm doing the most efficient thing. I'm farming my jungle, I'm starting to farm his jungle too. And it's gonna just snowball me so much. You're gonna see in the late... Soon, I'm, I'm just gonna go full ham. So I keep going uh, for farming. Gonna go for a gank, it's gonna slow down. Okay, I was a little bit unlucky. I, I survived, I, I had to flash that, that was a little bit too dangerous. I don't know what the tower was... Maybe we'll attack, attack me again. So, uh, Lulu goes down. I just work into mid lane trying to get something. No, I, I go bot again. No, what the? What am I even doing? Yeah, I go back to farming because I see my ready spawning so I can get the whole top thing. And I s first I need to just defend this tower, I see. And Hacker dies. Just yes, watch that dive again. I'm standing right here. Like, this, this uh, game isn't like a classic only thing, you can do this on many other champions. Like, every champion that farms fast and does similar things to classics, you can do this. Like, farming and ganking, try to like, do it so good as possible. Here I see uh, Hecarim ulti me, I jump away, do a Q exactly when he hits it E, so I can like, utilize it perfectly. Auto attack, go invisible and run away. If he stood in the tower, I would kill him, and Yasuo gets a kill. Because Yasuo thinks. Here I just go B, because it's no point going in here, because it's way too dangerous, we have no wards. And I... And it's just... Yeah. I go for Mercury Ted's pretty obvious. Kate Trap, Snare, Stun, Stun. Yeah, this game is... You can't go with CDR boots. It's uh, it's Mercury's every time. So yeah, back to farming. Now my, my goal is just getting 11-11 as fast as possible. Because when you get 11-11, you can just go... You can just, that's when you start to do your work as Kha'Zix. Then you become like, from this weak ass little bug to just a god. I do that. <laughs> the cancel trick doesn't work, but it's fun to do because it bugs you up. So here I go for this. This is actually a little bit risky. I see Annie mid, so this is my uh, sign that no one is invading. Because I have my eyes on this Annie. Because she should actually move exactly when I start blue. If she were good. And I do a ward here. I have no idea what cannon is. and I, But I have jump. So I'm pretty safe I think. But I as last time I tried to move over here. 
So if they come, I can easily jump to this and get the movement speed to run away. It's, this is a little bit risky, but I had to go for it. And then now I go for a full invade because I see Lulu working in her way into my jungle so she can defend me. Here's Kanan. Yeah. He's pretty behind and tilted. So this is like, here as I said, like, you can just lock, the, lock this down. We got the first tower. Getting the first tower makes all this so much safer. Just this area, so, so much safer for you just going around and farming. As we can see now, Hecarim is level 9, I'm level 11, I got 100 farm, he got 5 kills, but I'm so much stronger. Now I'm working my way over to Dragon, and Bolt is getting ganked again. They're getting pretty camped. But me and uh, Lulu going for the tower, because we saw Hecarim Bolt, it's free. So here I go for... I think I go for a play here, and I will just... Yep. Here we go. I get snare, and... Uh, Yeah, there we go. Some classic things. And here is just obvious you go for dragon after this. Just to, as fast as possible, just run to dragon. Here we are pretty unlucky that Annie just flashed on her. And I tried to go for her, but unfortunately, Tiber takes away isolation. I do no damage. So that was sad. Uh, I don't know. You could be smart and know what Annie does in there, but that was a risk I was willing to take. Because getting that drag was, would be super good. And yep, yeah, now they can take the drag and Annie can't really steal it because she doesn't have range exactly. And here Yasuo again. Getting killed. Okay, I just acquired... Uh, I just bought two longsword because that uh, was the only thing I had left. I don't really care what I get, just getting so much you can get for the money is the important part. You need to be... Like, this point of the game, like 17 minutes when the team fight starts and like... Every fight starts that will... Dip depict the game how it goes, it's just so important to getting the items that you need. So now I just g keep on farming, uh, getting me f more strong, you can see I clear the camps faster than any, like, I don't think it's a champ that clears the camps faster when you have teammate on classics. And here it is, uh, yeah, you can see this, this, this is a point where classic becomes my favorite champion. Ah, oh, I love my classics. So that's a triple kill for me, and like, I was only like 5-1, and I just got almost 1v3 triple kill, I would get 1v3 if, uh, even if uh, they didn't help me, I think. So exactly when I do this, I go back to farming, fast. Maybe we could get to that tower, but I thought, okay, I, I, I should just go for the tower maybe. But I just wanted to get, because uh, I was so pumped getting level 14, so that was a mistake I did. I should probably push in that and get to the tower. But I am a little too greedy when getting to farm, because I, I love my money. So at this point, you can see, uh, I am the fed one. Me and Lulis are the only one who actually fed. It's going okay for Varus, but it's he was extremely tilted and was calling us shit, because we I didn't focus that much. And Yasuo gets killed. Oh, isn't this the outplay? Nah, this is not the outplay. Sad. So... Yeah, I don't want to jump into this exactly because I don't know if Hecka has ultimate. So I stand here, wait if... Yeah, wait till my Q is in range so I can do that. Easy kill, easy life. And here they... Here they I don't know where they're, gonna, where they're doing here. I'm just going into back to farming. I ask my support so she can help me. And actually, this is one thing. Every time I get this, I always take it. I don't know if I'm bad for taking it, but I love it on Catholic. It makes me able to one-shot so... Like, it makes me do Q while alt stack and I get it. Sometimes you can give it to your top laner. If you're pre-made with your top laner and they're like, they're playing their main, of course you give it to them. But if you can get it, super good. It's better to have it on like, fed assassin than like, uh, fed, like, a Maokai top lane. And here, I have this warded. Uh, so I know exactly, like, I can take this for free. And just remember, I have taken these three blues now, just because I wore at this blue and I had everything locked down. I had this locked down, this locked down. Uh, so they was just free to farm his jungle, and I'm I'm level, he's level 11. I'm level 14. Even if like we have almost the same kills, we have the same kill participation, but I have farmed so much more. And this is the thing, I'm like twice as strong as him, even more. I jump over, farm more, and he, he like he think he can't do anything against the Kagal. And there she exhausted me. If she didn't exhaust me, it was a free kill. And I jump at him, he flashed, yeah. 
and I think just someone invite me in lol well I'm just gonna play this game through <laughs> so yeah this game is going extremely well for me we're moving away bot side because we saw we have the just killed the Hecarim and we had a good push here unfortunately they come and we back off uh, right now I'm soon level 16 and level, getting W on level 16 when you're ahead is so good because it makes team fighting so easily and here we can do it in slow motion I close the target and uh, Yeah, yes, like, yes, like a uh, clean classic. I could play that better probably, but I didn't have vision and that uh, cannon all sold me off. So now we're going B. Not fun to watch this exactly, but we can watch it again. I got um, Dustblade and I have Jomos. Like when when you get to these two items, Dustblade and Jomos. Oh, I did a mistake here. I'm just gonna show it. Pretty easy. I I plan to just go in here and uh, I want to jump in here, but of, of course. Yeah, you see, I, it was there, but I couldn't dodge that, in my opinion. And of course, the combo makes it... I I just got one shot. I hate that combo. Well, that was bad for me, but I got the... I'm, like, super strong, so that, you can't do that. That's super bad. I sh if it if was, like, a more close game and my team was feeding, that would be, like, GG. That could be a GG. That could be that they would we'll just go and take Baron and we would be over. But we were lucky that we wasn't that far behind. Now I go for uh, Infernal Drake, but, like... Even if we're taking Infernal Drake, oh, they, they're just selling them off. I think we they hated Infernal Drake, actually. I'm just gonna go and uh, take my blue and try to do a team fight. Like, just watch here. Like, if you're just walking, f like, beside, like, through the camps and not taking them, look how fast Kha'Zix can take the camp. That was, like, one auto Q and one, uh, one Q. That's, like, one and a half second. And here, uh, Lulu does an awesome engage. I get a one shot right here, kill her, yeah, there we go, like, when you get fed with Kelsey, you can do things like that, I, it isn't that hard, when it's, when you're behind, it's really hard, because then you can really, then it's really risky to jump in, but, you need to know, don't jump in, like, if Lulu didn't engage, I wouldn't jump in, like, imagine, if, if, if Lulu didn't attack her, and uh, we have no vision here. It's pretty dangerous to just jump in here. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, uh, Annie will stand here, just do her ult, and then we're dead. Yeah. So uh, work with their uh, with, uh, your team and try to go after they go in. So they go for uh, yeah. Me and uh, Boris push in mid. I work my way because I see Hacker run over here, so I know he's gonna run down like this. So I just work my way to block his path away. So we get a free kill, and now it's a perfect situation to do Baron. And I went with W this game by the way, because W takes takes the cake for the most utility you can get. I knew I said that W was useless, but that that was the when everybody had that R hype, that R evolution was be OP. But god damn it, that R evolution is useless in my opinion. Well so we go for an easy baron here. We take it extremely fast because you know Kha'Zix I think I have blue too. Yeah I have blue. You, you take it super fast and I'm I got level 16 like 23 minutes this game and uh, you, as you can see almost the same I'm, I'm just snowball over him and look I have double his farm everything and this game is almost over so now we when you get this I just go in his jungle take his this is four for five fourth blue I think and like I've got in his half like like everything is farmed here I've got it more than him like, I farmed probably twice as much as his jungle than he has done. Not that much, but almost that much. But I'm extremely fed. As, like, this game, I was, like, this damage I had here. Like, the Duskblade and Jomos and the uh, Starkers and the uh, Teamat. I could one-shot, like, Caitlyn. Like, I'm, 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 like, what, I'm level 17, she's level 13. You don't need another damage item. If this was an equal game, I would get another damage item, so I could one-shot her. But I can't one-shot her, so I just got a GA, so I can go ham and just get back. Like, I'm level five, 5 levels over my AD carry. This game is just so free when you get this far ahead. And here, uh, she doesn't engage. Let's not... I could... I know I could have played this team fight a lot better. Because I jump in. Jump in here. Get tra trapped on this. Yeah. Yeah, I just jumped into the backline. This, like, we were so far ahead with Baron buff. And this game could easily be lost. Because, like, me, my team isn't that fed. 
Like their hackery was really fed in one point, like 5-1. So this is, yeah, here we just close out the game and we win. So if you're watching this, like think about just invading and farm, as like farm much and get the ganks. Like getting a nice rotation is the key to just getting this fed and solo carrying. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I'm Kha6 and... I'm not Kha6, I'm Kha6 and I'm out. Keep adapting.